Hey guys, welcome to yet another Air Chelly video. This time we are going to do another appointment setup and we will also provide a template of course, along with a free new mini app called the Air Chelly Companion app. Once installing the template, you will get these four flows. We'll get into the flows shortly, but first of all, you will need to go towards the contents, go towards bot fields, go inside your Air Chelly folder, and then it is important that you will pre-fill this Air Chatty calendar link. We will need this because we will be generating a specific link for the user, but also to pre-fill the form data so they don't have to fill in their name and their emails again, because we already have this inside the chatbot. So we want to make the experience a little bit easier. You can find this Air Chatty uh, link, calendar link by going towards your CRM, go towards calendars, and then from there, you will be able to go towards calendar settings, and then you will have three dots on the right, which you can press and then copy the scheduling link. You can then insert that inside the bot field and then we are good to go. Inside the flow itself, let's go with the link sharing option first because that is the first flow. Then inside, we are first going to check if the email already exists. If so, we're going directly towards to generate the booking link and otherwise we are going to ask the email first and then go towards the booking link itself. Inside this action, as mentioned, this is the new mini app that you will get access to, is to generate a booking link. We will need that bot field for the Air Chatty calendar link and also the remaining uh, information. So the user NS, the first name, the last name and the email. Once done, we will get a booking link back and we will map that towards the custom field appointment link. The next step would be to give the user the link itself, right? So we'll get a text message with a button containing the web website address inside this custom field. When the user booked the appointment, an inbound webhook is being triggered. Unfortunately, the template installation does not allow for copying the webhook as well. So we need to create this from scratch, but no worries, I will show you how to do that. If we go with the new inbound webhook, then you can give it a name. I call it Air Chatty New Appointment, press save, and then it will end up inside of your overview. You can just press edit on the inbound webhook. You will need to turn data pre-processing on, and then you will have certain data coming back. You can copy and paste this code, which we will provide you inside the video description. And from there, you only need to map a few things. As you can see on the user NS side, we need to map this variable because this contains the user NS, which we pre, which we send as a payload inside the booking scheduling link. And then you will also need to map the following data. So we need to map the contact ID, the time zone, the calendar ID, the calendar appointment ID, and then also the calendar start time. You can pause the video and then just take over all of this data. And then once done, you can continue with the rest of the video. If you copied everything over, just press save. And from there, you will be able to go towards the next step because the next step will be that we are going to go towards the confirmation flow. Inside the confirmation flow, let's open that. You will see that we have just a few notes, but a lot is happening here. The first step is to go with three different kinds of actions for the new mini app. The first one will be to convert the date and time modifications because the time we get back inside the inbound webhook is the calendar time and we need to convert that back inside the user's time zone. So this action allows to do that. The meeting time and the user time zone we mapped from the inbound webhook to custom fields. So we just need to fill those in and then we will get a response mapping a JSON field back, a JSON value back, which will store inside the JSON field air chatty appointment times. From there, the next two options will be to go and generate cancellation links and rescheduling links. For the cancellation link, we are going with the appointment ID, which we also mapped from the inbound webhook. Then we will get a data back for the cancel link. And that is something that we met as well. Then for the rescheduling, we need a little bit more. We also need the calendar ID as well as the event ID. Both are being 
pulled in from the inbound webhook. So we already met that. We just need to fill in those data and then we will get a rescheduling link back, which we will save to this custom field. And the last step will be to set a new custom field called air chatty appointment time. And the input would be the JSON array that we get back. So once formatting the date and time, we will get back a JSON field. And the JSON field is air chatty appointment times. Oops. So that would be the appointment times. From here, we can go with a payload. And important here is that we are going to map the appointment time for the calendar because we need this to trigger an automation for sending out a reminder. So once mapped, we can press save and save again. Then we will go towards the condition check. The condition check will check if the user is rescheduling an appointment or booking a new one, uh, because otherwise they will have this tag for rescheduling. If they have it, we are going to remove it in the next step and then send a confirmation appointment that it is rescheduled. If they do not have this tag, we are go just going with a regular booking confirmation, as you can see here. The JSON field that we use to show display the time and date towards the user can be customized as well. If we press this, you will see that we have several options to go from. So we have format zero all the way up to 10. I chose format eight, but you can choose any kind of format that you like to. So if you want to go with format nine, for example, you can do so really easily by just pressing it and then press save. And the same goes for the rescheduling uh, appointment link as well, right? Once the user then presses any of these buttons, which we already mapped, right? Then they will get for the rescheduling, they will get to uh, add a tag. Once the inbound webhook triggers, then we will get back towards this specific flow. And then, uh, and then the condition will take in effect that the user has this specific rescheduling tag and then needs to be seen this rescheduling confirmation message. Um, the next step would be to also have this inbound webhook set up inside your CRM because AirChatty needs to send all of this information. So how to do this? When pressing edit, you will first copy the webhook URL. On the CRM side of things, we can go back towards the automations tab. And here you will see that I have set up two workflows, one for the booking confirmation, so a new booked appointment, and one for the cancellation. The new booked appointment works for both new appointments as well as rescheduling. So if we press this, then you will see that the trigger that I set up is the customer booked an appointment. And if we add a new workflow trigger, you will see that it's the second, uh, basically the second option from the appointments tab. So if I click this away, the next thing that you will need to add is the webhook. And you can just find this by pressing the plus sign and go with webhook. Once done, and let me just click this away, you can go with a webhook name. So for example, it could be UJet appointment. I just left it at webhook and then paste it in the webhook URL. And then make sure that you save the action. You will then see on top that you will have unsaved changes. So make sure that you save them. Once saved, also make sure that you set the workflow to publish because by default it will be inside of a draft version. Once done, you will receive all of this data. And basically the same works with the cancellation appointment. So once you created this webhook, all you need to do is basically go and copy this webhook URL, go towards that specific AirChatty automation. So if you do not have anything, then you can just press and continue, right? I already have it, so I will just press edit. Inside, you will have a different kind of trigger this time. So the trigger then will be to go with the appointment status. And you will see that that is the first option under the trigger section. On the, upon, on the appointment status, the filters will be event type is set to any. And then the appointment status is set to cancel. Really important because this will be the update webhook, right? Then make sure that you save the trigger, 
save the changes on top and then also publish the workflow again. Once done, you will receive certain data and the only thing that you need to map here basically is if we say preload data, we need to map the contact ID towards the CRM contact ID. So this allows us to find the specific user and then update them on their specific preference. The appointment time we already have because they only canceled the appointment itself, right? So we don't have to store any new dates or times. So that is the only thing that we need to map to make sure that we can synchronize with the correct user inside the chatbot. If we press save, this webhook, this cancellation webhook will then trigger the appointment canceled. And under the appointment canceled, you will see a really simple E, uh, a really simple message. Very sorry to hear that. And then we will display the times back. Again, you can choose your own format here, right? And then we give them a call to action whenever they are ready to book a new, a new appointment. All there is left now is to discuss the reminder flow. If we go towards automations, triggers, you will see that I have a lot. <laughs> Under the uh, date based time trigger, you will have this trigger. So the air chair, the appointment time, I've set it at 8 a.m. to send out then. And the days to go off is one day before this appointment time to send a reminder. You can set up multiple reminders if you want to based on this specific custom field. But I just set up one reminder just to show you how it looks like. Once done, it will go towards this air chatty appointment reminder flow. And from here, it will look really simple. I just set an email, but you can do that with any kind of text message as well. If you want to send the user an SMS or a regular message, if the user is within the 24 hour window on meta, on meta channels, that is, then you can easily do so as well. So this is how the air chatty appointment reminder system is working. Um, you can download the template. The link will be inside the video description as well, along with the code to have that data pre-processing on, on the inbound webhook for confirmation appointments. And if you have any questions, do let us know, try it out, and we will be here for you. So in the meantime, enjoy the new template, enjoy experimenting, have fun, and have a great weekend.